The great news about colon cancer, it is preventable. With adequate screening and adequate education, we can both detect colon cancer and remove small precursor lesions that could eventually form into cancers. First, get screened. The average age of screening in our general population is at 50, and that is typically done with a screening colonoscopy. A colonoscopy is a simple test that's done under a light anesthetic uh, that allows us to detect these early lesions that can form in a good number of people. Testing beyond age 50 after the first colonoscopy will be dependent upon the findings at colonoscopy. If a polyp or some other abnormality is detected, typically we will shorten the interval uh, between our colonoscopies. If the colonoscopy is normal, good test, adequate preparation, then we can typically wait 10 years before that and your next evaluation. The second most important factor in preventing colon cancer may be maintaining a healthy weight. Simply put, obesity in our society has a link to several different types of cancers, including colon cancer. The third factor that may help prevent colon cancer is cessation of smoking. Obviously, tobacco has an impact on cancer formation in our body and colon cancer may be directly impacted by the use of tobacco. The fourth factor is physical activity. And being physically active for at least 30 minutes daily may help to impact both general bowel health and decrease the risk of colon cancer. The fifth factor is moderation of alcohol. Alcohol has several different effects on the body. Certainly the colon can be affected by the heavy use of alcohol. The sixth factor I think is very crucial and that's the elimination of, of processed meat from the diet. Certainly reduction in the red meat usage to less than three times a week would be ideal. The seventh factor that may help to decrease the risk of colon cancer is the use of calcium and vitamin D. Supplements of calcium and vitamin D exist that allow us to get more of those particular elements into our body. Healthy calcium and vitamin D levels can be achieved with natural products as well as supplements. Finally, number eight is the use of folate. Using a multivitamin which includes folate has been shown to decrease the risk of colon cancer in our society. The previous factors we discussed were preventable. There are certain non-preventable factors that, that may be associated with colon cancer. Of those, genetics plays a huge role in colon cancer and knowing your family history is, is crucial. The second of those is age. The final non-preventable risk factor is inflammatory bowel disease. The presence of Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis substantially increase the risk of colon cancer. So remember, colon cancer is preventable. Know your risks, maintain a healthy lifestyle, and get screened.